In this episode, we're going to treat the 3n plus 1 mechanism like a computer and try to program it. Think of it like this. Suppose aliens give you one of their alien computers. They demonstrate some amazing things the computer can do, like solve differential equations and design new medicines. You're like, this is so cool. But when the aliens leave Earth, they accidentally take the programming manual with them. So you look at the circuitry and it's pretty simple. So the trick must be in how the aliens programmed it. Since you don't have the manual, you figure, let's stick in some random programs and see what they do. You remember that the alien programs were long sequences of zeros and ones, just like Earth programs. Of course, we actually use keyboard characters here, like A, B, parenthesis, semicolon, but underneath, every program is still just a series of zeros and ones. We can look at any program as a single number written in binary or in decimal. Uh, either way, every program is just a number and every number is a program. Of course, most numbers are gonna represent malformed programs with syntax errors all over the place. Okay, let's feed this program into the alien computer. It grinds for a while, spews out some message, and then stops. That's okay. If you type AB semicolon into an earth computer, a similar thing is gonna happen. It's gonna print out some error message and then stop. So hmm, maybe the junk spewing out of the alien computer is just an error message because our program AB semicolon doesn't make sense. How about this program, one go to one? Let's feed it to the alien computer. Maybe it'll get stuck in an infinite loop this time. Nope, computer just spews out a different error message and then stops. That makes sense. Why would aliens use English words like go to in their programs? Let's try a few more programs. It looks like every program stops quickly after spewing out some message. But we did see the aliens doing these amazing things with the computer. I mean, they solve differential equations uh, and things like that. So let's try to be more systematic. Let's try every program up to 10 characters long. That's a lot of programs, actually a billion trillion programs, enough to keep our alien computer humming day and night. Surely we figure one of those programs is going to get into an infinite loop or do something interesting. But no, every one of them grinds to a halt. One of them might take 10 times longer than the other one, but they both terminate very fast. Well, it makes sense. Just like on regular Earth computers, a program has to be longer than 10 characters before it does anything interesting, like solve a differential equation. So this is basically where we're at on the 3n plus 1 problem. We've put in every number up to a billion trillion into the 3n plus 1 rule, and we found that they all go to 1. Most people think that's pretty good evidence that the 3n plus 1 conjecture is true. But maybe in the bigger cosmic picture, we've only tried small human sized numbers. Okay, let's pick a much, much bigger number, one that's never been tried before, like this one. It also halts, uh, but it's like we're feeding in some large garbage program and the alien computer is just gonna halt on that garbage program. So if the alien, if the three and plus one is like the alien computer, maybe we just haven't figured out how to program it yet. Maybe 3n plus 1 can run programs that solve differential equations or get stuck in loops. And if there is a program that gets stuck in a loop, that means there's also a number that loops under 3n plus 1. In that case, we'll have disproved the 3n plus 1 conjecture by showing a number that loops. Something like this happened with the game of life invented by John Conway. People tried enumerating all the start conditions and each one either died out or entered a cycle. Nobody knew if there was any start condition that would grow without bound. But then William Gosper and a group at MIT designed a glider gun. This pattern shoots out gliders so it grows forever and ever. Maybe we could design a start number for the 3n plus 1 that also grows forever and ever. Who knows? Nobody knows. Okay, see you next time.